Okay, so as you can see, I am filming outside. <laughs> Hopefully this goes well for me, but I had serious technical issues in the other room, so this is going to have to work for today. Today we're going to be talking about the um, Color Club Poptastic Pastel Neons Collection and the Pastel Neons Remix Collection. Um, they're kind of like, I don't know, sisters of each other, I guess? I decided to um, clump these together into one video instead of splitting them apart because it just made sense to me that way. Um, hopefully this video isn't like crazy crazy long because it didn't make any sense for me to split them up because they kind of, like I swatched them together and I, they, they just, like each polish in the regular Pastel Neons collection has a sister in the Remix collection that like goes with it. That's like the same color but... Yeah, you guys will see. <laughs> so the collections are made up of seven polishes each. Um, and I think it's kind of interesting that Color Club does like seven piece collections instead of like six piece like Zoya and Essie does or like 12 piece like China Glaze does and OPI does. It's just interesting to me. <laughs> um, but it's cool, you know, Color Club is bomb. I Oh my God, I love Color Club so much. If they, if I could find Color Club like in stores where I live that would be like the most amazing day in the entire world because I absolutely love Color Club. The only thing that they have going against them is the fact that they're not readily available. So Color Club if you're watching you guys should really try to get yourselves in stores because I really want to buy them. <laughs> I really want to buy your product. So I bought all of these polishes on headtotoebeauty.com um, which I will link down below. I really like that website because um, well, for a lot of reasons. The shipping is expensive, which kind of sucks, but you know, you eat, like Color Clubs and China Glazes are about $3.25 a bottle, so you're getting them really cheap and the shipping is more expensive. But if you kind of do the math, um, generally you're going to be spending less going to a website with that high shipping than you are buying them like at full price or something like that. So that's kind of how I justify it. Plus, you get early collections um, before they're really released, generally. You can get them earlier and um, they're, the customer service is really awesome there and they always package things like impeccably like I've never had anything break on me. So that's my little spiel about hedgetobeauty.com. I really enjoy it and um, if you want to buy color clubs then I would suggest going there. And I'm going to talk a little bit about like the formulas and stuff beforehand because I don't want to keep repeating myself over and over again throughout this video. And these collections are very interesting because they're like the most like consistent formula wise of any collections I've like ever seen ever. Um, like all of them have like the same formula so <laughs> that's kind of, I don't know, interesting. Um, another thing you should probably know, which a lot of you probably know about me, um, if a color is amazing, then I generally do not care if the formula is bad. Now, a lot of you probably differ on that, so I always tell you about the formula, whether it was good or bad or how many coats and all that stuff. I always tell you guys that, but just know that I might still recommend the polish anyways because I love it because it's amazing <laughs> because I think it's amazing at least so pretty much consistently across the board all of the um, all of the colors from the regular poptastic pastel neon collection um, were very thin and watery which is a little bit of a bummer I would personally rather have like a thicker formula than like a watery one but that's just me. They're not so bad that they're like impossible to work with. They're a little bit more of a challenge, but they're not impossible by any means. Um, they are a teensy bit streaky on like the first coat, but they are really good at leveling themselves out. So sometimes you have like a really bad watery polish and it's streaky and no matter what you do, you cannot get, get it to level out. These are really, really good at leveling out on their own. So. A plus for that. <laughs> and as for the um, Pastel Neon Remix collection, the formulas across the board are on the thicker side. That doesn't really surprise me because of the, I don't know, because they're kind of like a glittery, jelly kind of finish. So it doesn't surprise me that they're a little bit on the thick side, but again, not, not hard to work with at all. And also um, for the regular Pastel Neon collection, I felt like every single color was so close 
to not needing that extra coat or whatever like they were all like on the brink so if I used three coats on it then it was like so close like so on the brink of only needing two coats you know um, or if it was two coats then it was kind of it was pretty close to only needing the one coat so that's kind of like across the board like I feel like if if color club just made them just a little bit thicker in their formula that they would be way better <laughs> but like I said they're not so bad that you can't work with them and they are so beautiful that I mean I'm gonna tell you right now I recommend this whole collection because these are amazing and they're just amazing yeah I think I'm gonna jump into talking about the colors now hopefully I didn't forget anything um, big I'll let you know if you do or if I do forget something big um, I will list the number of coats because I don't know if I'll be able to remember every single one while we're going through but I will list the number of coats that I used for each of the polishes like in the corner when I'm doing the swatches so you guys will see that and I know that this intro is super long I apologize <laughs> we're gonna talk about the colors now I promise thank you so much for sticking around so I'm gonna jump into um, the colors now I'm not gonna be doing it like all the the regular pastel neons and then all of the the remix ones I'm not gonna do it like that I'm gonna do them together like both of the purples both of the blues like that kind of thing um so hopefully that doesn't bother you too much all right so first up is the purples which are super super beautiful by the way um i don't think you'll be able to tell it's almost dark right now well i mean it's not almost dark but it's not bright and sunshiny anymore um so you might not be able to see here but you'll be able to tell on the swatches i'm sure um this is called dig in the dancing queen and this is a beautiful pastel purple this is probably the least neon of any of them in the collection but it is so gorgeous and probably has the best formula of all of them um this was an easy two coat so um i really really like it and it's just really pretty and its sister is called what are you called feel the funk and it is a purple jelly base with they're all they all have the same type of glitter they're like iridescent glitters that shine like blue and gold kind of um and it is it's it looks weird in the bottle by itself none of the pastel or none of the remix collection excuse me um i would recommend I, I wouldn't recommend doing any of these on their own what i did in the swatches is the like two coats or whatever of its sister <laughs> that's the only thing i can think of to call them um but i did like two coats of this and then a co one coat of the glitter on top now the cool thing about the paso neon remix collection this is really hard for me to say for some reason they're all glow in the dark so they look really really awesome you guys will see in the in the photo oh my god guys these are so cool they give a very interesting effect when even when they're not glowing like doing the glow in the dark thing they look so cool on top of the pop the sister polish <laughs> they just look amazing they give it an extra little oomph you know i don't I don't always love going well lately I haven't been crazy about adding glitter or shimmer I've been really loving creams lately but these are just kind of like breaking me back into the glitter box because they're really I don't know they're just a lot of fun I really really enjoy these and the other thing that I should probably mention about all of the glow-in-the-dark polishes is that they don't necessarily glow like different colors like the purple one doesn't glow purple I mean they might look a little bit different and I took pictures of all of them so you guys will be able to see that but they don't look different enough between the different colors to like I don't know if you were only buying them for their glow-in-the-dark property then you don't need all the different colors they pretty much glow a similar color so yeah those are the purples and I just I really enjoy these <laughs> All right, next are the pinks um, from the regular collection. We have feathered hair out to there, and it is a really bright neon pink. I really, really liked how this looked on my fingers. I didn't think that I would because I'm not typically like a pink person, but I thought that this turned out really, really fun and bright on my nails. Pretty much all of these made me look really tan, which I don't really care that much about, but if that's something you're into, then these all will make you look really tan, probably. 
um, and this is no exception, but I just, I don't know, it just, it's, it was really bright and fun and happy, and when you added the glow-in-the-dark glittery topper, it looked like Barbie exploded on your nails. Its glitter topper is called Boogie All Night Long, and it's just a bright, hot, Barbie pink kind of glittery topper. It's got those same iridescent glitters. Um, like, these are like more gold and pink though, but they're, I don't know, it's so pretty. Same thing, it's a little bit thick, but I just added one coat on top of, I think, two coats of this, and it looked like Barbie exploded, and it was amazing, and they're all amazing, guys. <laughs> they're all so fun. All right, next, these might be my favorite, or at least like my top two or three from the collection. Um, and these are like the orangey corals. And this one is called Hot 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 Pants, which is like, oh my God, I wore this for like two days or so, and I could not stop looking at my nails. Um, I just wore this one by itself. And it was just, oh my God, it was so, it was amazing. It looks like, it's like a peachy coral and it it's like neon it reminds me of like china glaze um flip-flop fantasy but with more white it's just more pastel version of that polish it is so bright and amazing and i love it i believe that this is one of the ones that needed three coats but i didn't care it was so pretty i just didn't even care and then on top of that i added this which is called call of the disco ball and I don't know, it's looking very, very orange right now in this light, but it's definitely more of like a corally kind of orange. I mean, it's orange, but it's more on the coral side. This is more pink on the coral side, but together they're still, they're still amazing. Um, and it's just, it's just so, they're all, they're all so pretty. They all do a very similar effect on top of their companion polish, but I don't know. This is just so cool. This actually probably transformed the cream or whatever I don't know <laughs> it was probably the biggest transformation with this but I just I just absolutely love these next we have the yellows um, this one is called disco's not dead and this is probably the most pastel of all of them it's neon it's like a neon pastel but it's not super duper neon it's more pastel but it is still very, very beautiful. Um, this one didn't have the greatest formula. Um, I think this one was almost opaque in two coats, but I needed that third coat, you know. A lot of these were like on the brink, you know, because um, it was just like one or two patches, you know. I feel like if you did, if your thickness, like the coats, um, the thickness of your coats was different than mine, if you did them thinner or thicker than I did, um, which I think I, I tend to do more on the thick side not crazy but a little bit more on the thick side but you might be able to get these opaque in more coats or less coats depending on the way you do it and if like you fit if you like do a ton of brush strokes then you might end up getting a little bit of patchiness or something um, I feel like the least the less you mess with these the better or pretty much any polish for that matter but this is super beautiful I loved it but not as much as the other ones. This might be my least favorite, but I still am very happy that I have it. And then on top of that, um, I put Soul Sister. This is more of like a, a lemony yellow, um, more Crayola crayon yellow than its sister polish. Um, it is beautiful. Again, with those iridescent glitters and the, the yellow jelly base, all of them have a jelly base that corresponds to their companion polish or whatever. <laughs> um, but it this one was really really cool all of them are I, I keep saying that but like honestly once like I mean I'd put these on and I'd be like oh my god this is so beautiful and I'd take the picture and then I'd go and put this on top of it and be like oh my god this is so amazing they just they're I just love these I I just love these all right next are a few more of my favorites um these I was kind of debating with my husband as to like what to call these colors. I'm going to call them lemon lime because in certain lights this is going to look 100% totally yellow and you're going to be like there's no way there's any green in that. And then in other lights you're going to be like that's green. That's not yellow at all. That is like 100% green. So 
it's kind of one of those like shape shifters so I'm gonna like even in this light it's kind of hard to tell so I'm gonna call it like a lemon lime because it looks kind of lemon limey it's both yellow and green <laughs> um, but it's super bright it's amazingly bright I, I think I want to put this one on next because it's <clears throat> so bright um, this is called under the black light it's so amazing guys <laughs> super super neon like this one's one of those ones that's like crazy neon um, just a beautiful lemon lime pastel neon <laughs> and then on top of that is it's electric with an exclamation point because that makes your point more pointed <laughs> and um, like I said it's like that jelly base that lemon lime kind of jelly base with the iridescent glitters in there a little on the thick side but it didn't I didn't care because I mean if you're only gonna do one coat anyways I don't think that it's gonna be a super big deal and I added like sage bead on top so it dried quick anyways um, so the thickness or the thinness whatever it didn't really bother me they're just beautiful and they're just like electric and like when I got these um when I did the glow in the dark when I tested the glow in the darkness of these the glow in the darkness they were like amazing they all of these glow so bright and it takes quite a while I didn't test for like a super long time but it takes quite a while for the glow to dissipate they're so bright so if you're like going to like a rave or something I don't know <laughs> I don't know what kind of party you would necessarily I'm, I'm not really a party goer so I don't really know what kind of party or something that you would need glow-in-the-dark nails for or maybe even Halloween would be fun these are just I just love that they're they glow in the dark they're something fun and whimsical and make you kind of feel like a kid again but you they're not like gaudy you know what I mean they're still beautiful I don't know guys am I making any sense I just love all of these I I just love all of them all right so next up are like the minty greens um, and this one might have been like my biggest disappointment from the collection just because I love the color so much but I will still work with this and I still love it um, this is called till the record stops and it's a it's a minty green but it's I don't know it's bright it's it's like a mint green and a lime green had a baby. <laughs> it is so bright and fun and I love it. The formula, mm, I did three coats in the picture, I think. I think I did three coats in the picture. On a few nails, it may have needed four, but I think that that was like a user error kind of thing. Like, like I said before, if you mess with it too much or something, then you're gonna have issues with some of these um, so you could again depending on your thickness you could this could be two coats or this could be four coats or it kind of depends on the way that you personally do things but I still love this I will still use this and then on top of that um, this one just looks so cool in the bottle this is amazing this is called on the flip side and it's that like that mint green and that lime green had a baby and <laughs> it's so cool the jelly base with the iridescent glitters it is it's just really awesome a little on the thick side all of these like I said I, I said I wouldn't repeat myself but I ended up repeating myself a bunch they all have very consistent formulas across the board but yeah my, maybe my least favorites but I still love them so much all right and last up we have the blues which oh my god they're so pretty it's what I'm wearing right now I don't think you'll be able to tell but you'll see in the pictures <laughs> so the regular one the Crelly the cream or whatever <laughs> this is called meet me at the rink it is a beautiful 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 baby blue it's not super neon but it's pretty neon it is it's oh, it's so pretty I love this one so much it is the perfect pastel blue I believe this one was only opaque or only opaque <laughs> I believe this one only took two coats to be completely opaque which was good because I I love this one super 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 beautiful um, and then it's sister companion whatever is called get down tonight these all have hilarious names by the way <laughs> and like I said it's the blue jelly base with the iridescent glitters this one is maybe a little bit more like like this is blue blue this one maybe has like a touch of teal in it but on the nail it ends up just looking 
blue. <laughs> it's just a bright, bright, happy blue. These are amazing. I love these. Blue is my favorite color and these did not disappoint. They're just, they're amazing. I told you about all the formulas and everything so I think you, I don't have anything else to say other than these are amazing. Alright, so that is all of the colors from the Pastel Neons and the Pastel Neon Remix collection. Um, overview, all of the, like the creams or the Crellies, whatever you call them, all the Pastel Neons, the regular ones, had very thin watery formulas but I kind of don't care because the colors were beautiful and they weren't so bad that I couldn't work with them. Um, all of the ones in the Remix collection, a little bit on the thick side, but again, didn't really bother me. The colors are beautiful. Um, I love that they're glow in the dark and yeah, they're amazing. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope that that answered all of your questions that you had about um, these, these collections. <laughs> And hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Hopefully you found it helpful. And um, let me know what you guys think of these collections. If the formulas are like deal breakers for you. Or if you're like me and you put up with it because they're amazingly beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know down below. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I have to go because it's getting like really cold now. <laughs> so I'm going to go inside. But I love you guys so, so, so much. And hopefully I will see you very, very soon. Assuming I can get my lighting situation figured out. And and or it's not raining like crazy. So yeah, longest outro ever. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. So I bought all of these polishes on Head to Toe Beauty. I apologize for the plain sound. For me, it kind of like balances out and is And what was I gonna say? Oh my god, I forgot. Um, this is this. Alright, next. Oh my god, I'm dropping things. Like I said, it's like that lemon yellow or lemon lime, sorry. Bah. Excuse me. Um, this is like the minty green versions. I think there's a cat behind me somewhere. Um, the the cream or the crelly or whatever. Sorry about that. I hope that this guy... I, oh my god. Longest intro ever and longest outro ever in existence of the history of the world. Ever and forever and ever. Do you guys like my grandma slippers? <laughs> I wore my slippers out here because... Why the hell not? And I just kept kicked the tripod and I said kipped instead of kicked. I'm going to go. I love you guys so much. Goodbye.